a couple of people were upset that I'm not doing click anymore at the end of these vlogs and they didn't they didn't seem to know why I wasn't doing click because they were like why no click anymore SVM and I was like well at the end of my vlogs I used to click the mouse button and I always noticed that when I clicked it that would be the last thing that the camera would record before it cut off so instead of just clicking the mouse, I decided to start actually saying click. So maybe instead I'll do something with this. This is kind of fun. Do I feel, does it feel like I'm punching you in the face with my finger? Because <laughs> that's what it feels like to me. Ah, so I want to thank uh, JS King Boo. He did something funny. I don't, there's, it's really weird. I have, like, when Ron comments on a video, or Carter comments on a video, or trying to think, Will, Ricari, when Ricari comments. Like, these are people who I've seen on camera. I know what they look like. I know generally how old they are. I know what kind of background they come from. Like, I know all of these things about them that they're, like, practically my friends in the real, real world, even though two out of those three people I've never met in my real life. And um, then there are other people that I feel like I know a lot about their personality even if I don't know who they are or what they're like. So, for instance, um, Payuk. Uh, he's 29. I want to say that he lives in... He's 29-ish. Sorry if I'm wrong. I want to say he... I know he lives in South America. I want to say... <sighs> Uruguay? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to bet any money on that. Um, then there's people like... Uh, now, of course, I'm having such trouble thinking of names. There are, like, all these names. Bodman. Like, oh, I should say Serial Sam. Sam, I know who you are, because, again, I've seen you on camera, blah, blah, blah. Um, Bodman. Bodman is, I want to say, late 20s. He's from Australia. But that's, like, pretty much the extent of my knowledge about him. I know that he's an artist, or at least, if he's not an artist professionally, he can do art, because he's submitted art for me that I've used in my series. Um, so there are all these people, like Bodmin, um, there's like Ferret Lover, and, uh, Ruffrin, I think that's his name, his handle, uh, and then there's J.S. King Boo. There are all these people that I know nothing about, but they comment on all of my videos, so I know pieces of their personality, but I don't know, some of them I don't know if it's a man or a woman, I don't, I have no idea how old they are, when I learned that Payuk, if you're listening, I'm sorry I keep calling you out. When I learned that uh, he was something like 29 or 28, I was surprised. Not because his behavior on YouTube made me think he was 15, but because nothing that he did indicated an age in any way. And my general audience member on my channels tends to be about, I don't know, 15, 16, male, United States. Like, that's just... That's just the mean viewer on my channel, and probably the mean viewer on YouTube, period. So when I found out that he was like 28 or 29, I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I filed it away somewhere in the back of my head, and now I know that about him. J.S. King Boo is a person who comments on every video. And when he doesn't have new videos of mine to watch, I'm sure he watches other people on YouTube. But one thing that he does do is he goes to my old videos, and I mean my old videos, and he cookies them. And because I still have email notifications for every single channel that I operate, I get, like, all of a sudden, Five Things Episode 1, J.S. King Boo commented, cookie. And then, like, random, like, Five Things Episode 8, which still was, like, over two years ago. Actually, it was probably about exactly two years ago. Uh, J.S. King Boo, cookie. And then, like... One little thing, he'll be like, you were wrong about this. <laughs> so I have such this weird, I have this weird skewed vision of who J.S. King Boo is in my head, and I don't know what he's actually like. I'm not saying, sir, that you need to, you know, like, out yourself and start talking about exactly who you are. That's fine. Part of the great thing about the internet is that it's anonymous, and you can act anonymously. That's an awesome part of the internet. YouTube has started making it a little bit harder to be anonymous, for sure. Um, but anyway, I bring him up. I'm, I'm talking about him today because, um, like I said, I get email notifications for comments on my videos. 
So when I got out of work today, which by the way, 46 hour week, and someone asked me a video, a vlog or two ago, if with my uh, raise, with my promotion, if I'm salaried, and the answer is no, I'm not, which means I'm getting an hourly wage, and every hour over 40, over 40 hours is time and a half. So, bank. Anyway, um, after I got out of work today, I looked at my phone and I had, I hate, I hate the way that YouTube changed the notifications via email for your comments, because um, my, say my phone screen is this wide, well the email is this wide, and that means that the far right side of the text goes off of the email, so I have to scroll it over so that I can see everything, and then beyond that, if the comment is beyond, I don't know, 200 characters, 140, 200, um, it cuts it off. And there's a little link that says more. And if I get comments on any channel except the one that I'm logged into on my phone, I can't look at it. I have to open the video in Internet Explorer. I can't necessarily open, not Internet Explorer, sorry, in my browser on my phone. I can't necessarily open it in my YouTube app because the YouTube app does not refresh comments very often for some reason. Why can't you force it to fetch the newest... Ah. So anyway, I hate the way that YouTube formats this. And then it's also done this thing where, thank goodness they've added notifications back for responses to other people's comments. I appreciate that. But they don't say who they're commenting to or what the original comment was. So you just get an email notification that says, Person X has replied to a comment on this video. And you'll get a response that's like, yes. And I'm like, okay, well, whose comment was that? What does that mean? I have no idea. So that notification is completely useless because you broke it, YouTube. You either didn't break it or you didn't think the whole way through what you should be doing. Anyway, this has gone on way too long. I hope this is still interesting. I got two threads emailed to me. One was from a guy, I won't even bother calling out his name because actually I don't remember it, and second, it's not worth it. Um, he's been complaining for a while that I'm not using MC Patcher. This is how much I care. Other people in my videos have commented back to him and let him know, like, this is how much Sean cares. And today, JS King Boo responded to him and said, um, MC Patcher and Voxel Mod do not work together, which, as far as I can tell, is the truth. That's the way that it's always been since I started using Voxel Mod, which I really like that pack. The thing that it does to the textures that are in your hand in Minecraft, I just don't care. I don't care. I never even notice it until someone says something. And even then, I forget about it again five minutes later. I just don't care. And uh, anyway, JS King Bear responded to him, let him know. And this guy got really feisty and started like firing back at him about, I don't know, and it ended with this guy telling King Boo, uh, you, since you love Sean so much, you can be the one to tell him that he just lost a subscriber. So, uh, JS King Boo has not let me know, but, sir, I'm going to thank you for ridding my channel of this riffraff, because I've explained so many times that I don't care, and I'm not going to fix it, and if people don't like it, they don't have to watch, and they can just go away. That's fine with me. So thank you for getting rid of the riffraff. I appreciate it, sir. Mm -hmm.